Hi, my name is Adam and I work for HP. Today I'm going to show you the unboxing and setup of the HP NV5530 printer. Here is the HP NV5530 printer. First thing you want to do is break the tape and pry the box open. Fold back the flap so you can remove all the items from the box easily. On the top of the box will be all your accessories for your printer. You'll be installing all these later. First, remove the cartridges. First one here will have a card attached. This is your tricolor cartridge. It's a good idea to keep this card around so that you'll know which cartridges to buy when you're going to replace them. Then take out the black cartridge. They're taped into place so that they don't move during shipping. The last item in the part of the box is the power cable. Just remove it from the tape as well. Pull out the piece of cardboard and set it aside for recycling. Now you can remove the printer from the box. HP provides a carrying bag for this printer. This also helps you remove it from the box. So find the two handles and then set the box on its side. Holding those two handles, gently pull the printer out of the box. Set the box aside for recycling. Now we can remove the styrofoam packaging from the sides of the printer. You'll notice a couple of papers and a CD that came with your printer. The booklet is a multi-language user guide which provides basic setup and troubleshooting information. This piece of paper is your getting started guide. This is a basic step-by-step -step guide for your printer which is essentially what we're showing in this video. Next is the installation CD for Mac and Windows. You'll need this CD to install the software for your printer. If later you can't find the CD or if you want to check online for updated drivers, you can go to hp.com forward slash support and search for new drivers for your printer model. Last is a sample pack of HP Advanced Photo Paper. Now you can remove the printer from the bag. The easiest way to do this is to work the printer out of the bag, lift up, and then slide the bag off. You can remove any tape, plastic, or other packaging materials that are on and inside the printer. I like to start by taking the tape off the back. It may be easier to tip the printer up and then start at the top and peel the tape back. Set the printer down and then remove the other piece of tape from the top and it runs down the front so you might have to lift up. It's designed to come off fairly easily and not leave any residue on the printer. While the printer is lifted up, remove the other pieces of tape here. Then remove the piece of tape that's holding the input tray closed on the front of the printer. Once these are removed, set the printer back on its bottom and then lift the scanner lid. Gently pull the plastic cover off the lid and then close the scanner lid. Go to the back of the printer and remove the plastic film. Then go back to the front of the printer and open the input tray and remove the piece of tape on the tray. You might need to tip the printer back to get this piece out. Pulling out the input tray will also help. After this piece of tape is removed, take your finger and push out the width adjustment guides. Slide in the input tray until it clicks into place. Now you can remove the protective sticker that's over the control panel. Now you can remove the packing materials from inside the printer. So turn to the side and then lift up on the top cover. Remove the piece of cardboard and strips of tape near the back of the printer. Now we'll remove this orange piece of plastic by lifting the tape up on the side and then piece of tape on the front and the plastic will remove out of the printer. Now you can close the top cover and the scanner lid. Your printer is now unpacked and now we'll set up the hardware. First you need to connect the power cord, so start by removing the twist tie that's on the power cord itself. Sometimes they can be a bit difficult to remove. Now we'll plug it into the printer, so go to the back of the printer and find the port that it plugs into. Then plug it firmly into place, making sure it's all the way in. 
Now take the power cord and plug it into a power source. For this video we're using a power strip, but HP recommends that you use a wall outlet to prevent any power issues. So now we will power on the printer. So we'll go to the front. On the left hand side is a power button, so press it to turn the power on. After pressing the power button, you'll hear the printer make noise while it sets up. Once the printer is powered up, it'll ask you a series of questions to help set up the control panel. Use the arrows on the control panel to scroll to which language you want to use. Then tap the language to select it. Tap yes to confirm. And then again using the arrows, select your country or region. And then confirm by tapping yes. On the next screen, tap the setup button. Next you'll receive a prompt telling you to insert the cartridges. Lift up on the top of the printer to access the ink area. The carriage will move and give you access to load the cartridges. Locate the cartridges that came with your printer so we can open them up and install them. We'll install the tricolor cartridge first. Open the cartridge by ripping the packaging from the top or if you have problems you can use a pair of scissors. Use the orange pull tab to remove the tape covering the electrical contacts and ink nozzles. When going to install the cartridge, look at the locking levers on top of the carriage to make sure the color matches the cartridge you're trying to install. Lift to open the lock lever for the tricolor cartridge. Slide the cartridge downward into the correct slot and then make sure the back edge of the cartridge is under the lock lever. Close the lock lever until it snaps into place. Now you repeat the process with the black cartridge. Open the package in the same way you did with the other one. Making sure to remove the tape as well. Then lift up on the locking lever. And then you can slide the cartridge straight down. And then close the lid which will lock it into place. Once the cartridges are in, you can close the ink access door. The printer will recognize that you've installed genuine HP cartridges. A message will appear on the control panel stating that. Now tap continue and the printer will show that it's initializing. And then it'll ask you to load paper. Now we're going to load paper, so start by grabbing a stack and tapping it on a hard surface, and then slide out the input tray. Make sure the width guides are at the outermost position. And then slide in the stack of paper. Once it's all the way in, adjust the guides. You can either slide one or both. I find it's easier just to slide both. Making sure not to squish the paper or fold it. And then slide in the input tray. Tap the OK button after you've loaded the paper. Then you'll have to tap the OK button again to print an alignment page. The printer will show that it's printing an alignment page and then print one out. This process can take up to a few minutes, so we're going to speed up this section in this video. Once the alignment page is printed, you're going to have to scan it. It'll have instructions on how to do that on the front, or you can just watch and lift up the scanner lid. Place the alignment page face down on the right front corner of the glass. It'll indicate on the printer where to do that. Load the paper, making sure it's snug up against the sides, and then close the scanner lid. Tap the OK button on the control panel, and the printer will then scan the alignment page. 
Now this process can take a few minutes, so we sped this up in the video. When it's finished scanning the alignment page, an alignment successful message will appear. Once you see the alignment successful message, tap the OK button. You can set up a wireless connection for your printer, either via the software or the standalone printer. Since configuration is different for each user, we're not going to show that in this video. So we're going to press Not Now. A software reminder message will appear, so tap OK. Now your hardware setup is complete. You can install the printer software and then begin printing. This was the unboxing and setup for the HP Envy 5530 printer.